Hey Internet, for this video I'm going to show how to set up the TP-Link Wi-Fi extender. Wi-Fi extenders are useful for Wi-Fi dead zones in your home. There was always one part of my house that the Wi-Fi signal could not get to. I bought this to fill in that gap and let me tell you, it works. Alright, let's get started in setting this up. Opening the box, I'll time lapse this because it's me opening the box. This is the unit itself. Pretty simple looking. Actually kind of looks like one of those air fresheners you plug into a wall outlet. Instruction manual. We won't be needing this because, well, you're watching this video. But do not throw it away and keep it somewhere safe. Okay, the first thing to do is plug it into the wall outlet near your Wi-Fi router. Now go on a Wi-Fi capable computer like a laptop. Connect via Wi-Fi to the TP-Link extender. It should show up as TP-Link extender 2.4 GHZ. Open a browser and type on the address bar tplinkrepeater.net On the authentication, type username admin password admin. Press next. Choose your region and press next. This will scan for Wi-Fi access in the 2.4 GHz band. Put a check mark on your wireless router and press next. Depending on your Wi-Fi security option, this may be different. Most Wi-Fi routers like my own have WPA, WPA2-PSK. Enter your Wi-Fi password. Make sure copy from main router is checked and that it's your router name displayed. Then press next. Press next. Now it will scan for Wi-Fi access in the 5 GHz band. Since my router is dual band, it also offers Wi-Fi through 5 GHz. If your router appears, give it a check mark and click Next. Like the 2.4 GHz settings, check your Wi-Fi security option. Most likely it's WPA WPA2-PSK again. Enter your Wi-Fi password. Make sure copy from main router is checked and that it's your router name displayed. Then press next. Double check your info and make sure it's correct. If you enter your security option or Wi-Fi password incorrectly, the Wi-Fi extender won't work. Click finish once everything checks out. Wait for the Wi-Fi extender to reboot. Alright, now that it's rebooted, let's try connecting to it. Don't worry, I'm going to test it out on my Wi-Fi dead zone after this. This is just to show that the Wi-Fi extender will no longer appear as TP-Link extender. Instead, it will appear as the same name as your Wi-Fi router. In my case, Thiangles 2.4. Alright, let's test out the Wi-Fi. Okay good, it loads up my website. Let's move the extender to the Wi-Fi dead zone. Unplug the Wi-Fi extender from its current location. Okay, this is the part of the house where Wi-Fi connection is really really poor. As you can see on my phone, Thiangles 2.4 can't connect due to the poor Wi-Fi signal. 
I'm going to plug the Wi-Fi extender on a nearby outlet. All the settings I did earlier should be stored, so no matter where I plug in the Wi-Fi extender, it will load up my Wi-Fi settings. Don't worry, it's not permanent. There is a reset button on the Wi-Fi extender should you make a mistake on the setup. Alright, let's check out how the Wi-Fi is on the dead zone now. My phone is now connected to Thangles 2.4. I'm standing pretty much in the same spot as I did earlier before having the Wi-Fi extender plugged in. Let's see if the connection is good. Okay, it loads my website just fine. Now there's no Wi-Fi dead spot in my house. Hope you had no problem setting up your Wi-Fi extender. And that's it. Thanks for watching.